Taylor here, Cancer Cure Bus, Episode 7, What You Don't Want Your Kids to Google. So you heard about my prognosis last episode where I was, uh, Dr. Eisenberg, based on the scan, um, called it, and she was right on because when I got the biopsy a couple weeks later, it was the biopsy confirmed what she said, which was a grade 4 glioblastoma or GBM. So uh, what you don't want your kids to Google is grade 4 GBM. Because if they do, here's what they find. First thing that pops up is this really gnarly image. I was like, wow, look at that. That's nasty. So this uh, horrible image of this brain tumor in this guy's brain. Um, and then you read about grade 4 GBM. And here's what you read. It's uh, grade 4 is the most aggressive type of cancer. Uh, it's malignant, uh, very aggressive. What you read about grade 4 GBM, glioblastoma, a couple things. One thing that pops up, it says uh, cure, none. So there is no cure. It talks about median life expectancy. It talks about the 15 months. So in Google, yes, it says, I think it's 14.6. So we'll round it to 15 months. 15 months, the five-year survival rate is anywhere from 3% 3, 3 to 5%, which is why Dr. Eisenberg told me, Sam, I'd like to tell you it'll be around in five years, but I can't. I understand that's what the statistics say. It says that typically it um, strikes in males more than females, typically around age 64. I'm age 55, so hit me a little bit earlier. Um, and it says that basically if you research it, it's, it's pretty much the worst brain tumor you could have. Um, and actually, I'm, I'm good with that because I've always liked a challenge. Why is this the worst one? Well, there's no cure. And what they found with this brain tumor is no matter what they do to treat it, it always comes back. That's what it says in, in, in Google. It says it always comes back. And Dr. Jeffrey Weinberg explained to me, he gave a great analogy. So he's explaining to me, he says, picture this, you know, picture this table here and sprinkle this table full of salt and all the salt on the table, and that's your healthy brain cells. And then this tumor comes along, this GBM, and it's like somebody took a pepper shaker way up high and is shaking pepper on top of this table with the salt and all these little pepper flakes all over, kind of just spread all over. And he said, with this tumor, um, it's not encapsulated, and we don't know how long the tumor's been in your brain. We don't know what caused it. That's the thing. They don't know what causes it. Just one day, a couple of my brain cells started multiplying, dividing, and, and then lo and behold, I have this tumor. But with this GBM, the, the cells, the, the tumor cells, the cancer cells, they start to migrate into the healthy brain tissue. So along the edges, they start traveling. And just the, cell by cell, they just start traveling like they're, you know, into the healthy brain tissue. And so these little back, black pepper flakes are spread throughout the white healthy brain tissue. So no matter what, he says, even if I could surgically remove the whole thing, and cut all the way around the tumor, which is what we surgeons like to do, we take it all out, but in your healthy brain tissue, there are still these little black pepper flakes, the tumor cells, um, and that is why it always comes back. So no matter what they do, thermal ablation, surgery, this type of tumor always comes back, and that's why it's the worst one you could get. But then following that, that's where radiation and chemo comes in radiation therapy, chemotherapy, because that's the job of radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and some other things we're going to be talking about. Once the tumor is removed as much as possible, then the real job, and this is where the, the technology is amazing, is figuring out on this tabletop of all these little black peppers, how do we find these little guys and zap them, you know, one at a time, so they don't come back. I learned that uh, former Massachusetts Senator Ted Kennedy, this is the same tumor that killed Ted Kennedy, and he was diagnosed with a tumor, and until the diagnosis, until he died, 15 months. It's the same tumor that killed Bobby Mercer, the Yankees great. Um, and actually, it's the same tumor that tragically took the life of Joe Biden's son, Bo, and the prime of his life. Um, and it's the same type of tumor. The goal of this, Cancer Cure Bus, this channel, is about working together to find ways to cure cancer. That's what this is all about. So again, message out to the cancer warriors out there. Keep your faith strong. Keep your faith.
You stay strong. Stay strong. And you will find peace. May God bless you. May God bless your wonderful families. Until next time, thank you.